This is from Luke 18, verses 2 through 5. There was a judge in a certain city, Jesus said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly, saying, Give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't really fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she's wearing me out with her constant requests. Now in Luke, it says that Jesus told this parable as an illustration of persistence in praying, praying for things consistently. And that even if this judge who didn't fear God and didn't really care about people, even if he would grant the request of this woman who, who badgered him about her prayer needs or about her need, um, if, if an unjust judge would do that, how much more would a God, a Father in heaven who loves us, how much more would he hear and grant our requests? And that's why Jesus told this parable. And, you know, when I started thinking about it right now, um, we don't really have any problem at all coming up with things to pray about. We've got a lot of things that we could be praying for. We could be praying for our health. I know that there are a lot of people that are concerned about that and have loved ones that may have been affected by this illness and praying for their protection and their healing. We've got people whose jobs have been affected by this, finances as an issue. We've, we've got... Um, <coughs> issues with family, you know, being together in, in um, isolation or, you know, social distancing, kind of quarantining together, that can be a really good thing. But if there are issues in the family, it kind of exposes those a little more dramatically because you're constantly with each other. And so there are a lot of prayer needs that are going up for that. But, you know, before this crisis began, before we had this whole pandemic thing, there were any number of things that we needed to be praying for before this crisis. I mean, we should have been praying about the salvation of our lost friends and family. We should have been praying about a revival in our community, in our state, in our nation. We needed to be praying for the church to rise up united in Jesus to make an impact on our communities with the gospel. We needed to be praying for our political leaders and the attacks that are out there on our basic biblical principles. You know, this crisis has brought forward a lot of immediate needs. Needs in the family, needs with finances, needs with jobs, needs with, with health. But we can't neglect those eternal needs that have been there long before this crisis began. And as we pray through this time, we need to continue to pray for both. So let's take a moment and do that together. God, today, I want to pray for those who are dealing with immediate needs, health needs. Lord, there are some who um, have been affected by this virus, and uh, it's a serious thing, and some have faced life-threatening issues. Others are dealing with ongoing health issues that started before this crisis, we pray, Lord, for your intervention. We pray, Lord, for your protection and for your healing. Other families have been affected financially with job situations, um, being out of work for a period of time. We pray, Lord, that you would provide for those who are struggling financially. We pray, Lord, for those families that have, have had relational issues that this crisis has and the stress of it has, has just magnified. We pray, Lord, that you would help those families, spouses, parents, kids, that you would help them to heal the broken bonds. 
Lord, all of those are immediate needs. They're needs right now. But we have had needs that existed before this, eternal needs, the salvation of our family and friends, the spiritual awakening in America, a protection of our basic biblical freedoms. Lord, we want to pray for those as well today. We just pray that you would be exalted above all else and that as you are lifted up, that you would draw all people, men, women, boys, girls, that you would draw them to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, friends. See you tomorrow.